Suppose you're a sometime photographer, an amateur photographer, and like me, teach in a university, and during the pandemic, you started to record videos. Well, sooner or later, you need to have some sort of a backup. And what do you do? So you install a hard drive, half a terabyte, a terabyte, or whatever. And you think to yourself, this is going to be okay. This will solve the problem. I can store pictures on that. I have them on the computer. I have them on the memory card. That means I have the originals and two backups. But then, as your photography and videography interests increase, you start to run out of room. And you start to think that, well, one hard drive wasn't enough. I have to have another one. I can put all my films and uh, and all my photos on one, the raw materials. And then I can, for myself, have projects that I develop on one hard drive. And I can store things that have to do with work as an additional backup on another hard drive. And then that means you have to get a hub. So in other words, you need to get one device that you connect all of your hard drives to and then you connect that to the USB on your computer. And then you start to watch lots of YouTube videos about how photographers and videographers solve their memory problems and you start to realize that maybe I need to get a NAS or a NAS or whatever it will be called. And then you see the price tag going up and you see the complexity and then you start thinking, well, maybe I could put everything on a cloud or maybe I should just sort of continue with this kind of procedure where I'm buying more and more small hard disks, but that doesn't seem very good and so forth. And now, ultimately, I suppose I'm going to have to go the way of a NAS or whatever. And you can see in this video here what they actually sort of look like and uh, somebody talking about a photographer. So I took all of my hard drives and put them into a box. It didn't really matter what kind of box it was, just any old box. Shake it all up. Shake it all up. Oh, it got heavier. What's in the box? Oh, wow, eight terabytes. Uh, that should do me for at least a few months. Too much plastic. Well, it's uh, not quite the end because uh, obviously I have to transfer files into in all of those uh, half terabyte, one terabyte and so forth hard disks that need to be transferred there. Uh, but uh, except why need a backup? So my plan is that if this seems to work, I will get another one and then I will have that as a first storage and then I'll have a, a second one as my backup. And then really important things, I will choose the largest one of those small hard drives and back that up to that as well and store that uh, someplace else. Uh, but then that means I still need to have the hub, don't I? Yeah, and my rule is that anything that costs over about a thousand crowns. I save the box. Because you never know, you might not want to have it anymore, and it might be better for the resale value to show somebody that you, with the exception of me tossing the box, seem to be taking rather good care of your equipment. Thanks for watching.